Hi guys, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. Um, never let it be said that we don't take beer seriously. No, no. No, 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 no. Um, the only thing we take more seriously is crisps. Snacks. Snackage. Um, we did a video all about beer and crisp matching in which we discovered pickled onion, monster munch and orval, uh, goza and heaven. salt and vinegar, uh, some beautiful, beautiful matches and we asked you guys to send us in some crisps so we could keep this going. Um, we had some wasabi crisps which made us cry with joy <laughs> and pain and now we've been sent eel crisps. Yeah. It seems like Japan has a monopoly on shit crisps. Just all of the worst flavours. Yeah. Just all of them. Yeah. Um, so we've taken a guess at what might work. Uh, we've got some quite special beers, actually. Um, so eel, uh, flaky, white, kind of shellfishy, but also quite light. Uh, I'm thinking more jelly deals, like I'm a cockney, I'm a cockney. I've never Eels had jelly up deals. inside her. Find an entrance where they can. The hitcher. <laughs> okay, okay, you're quoting. Thank I'm you. quoting. I'm just yeah, coming yeah. from the deep research. No, no, that was not a deep, dark face. That um. was uh, my boosh <laughs> right there. Uh, so we have a tired hands, no less. Uh, Spelt Epic. saison, dry hopped. Amazing. I can't believe I have a bottle of this. It, it made it back from the US with me when I last went. Uh, we've got Pot Kettle Black, Black IPA uh, by Yeasty Boys of New Zealand. Cheeky. And then we're going to try a Gosa again because we think that it goes so really well. What, should we open the crisps, try it, yeah, then let's have a sniff of the crisps. Get Maybe, the aroma. Just get the aroma, that fishy vibe. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, that smells pretty good actually. It smells um, a bit beefy and a little bit... It smells like Beef Monster Munch. Yeah, it does smell like Beef Monster Munch. Flavourings, cornmeal, vegetable oil, eel flavour seasoning. It's, it's a bit horse Soy strategy. sauce, flavour, oh and then all the E numbers. All these. All of them. All 700 of them. Or <laughs> 900 of them. Each. Um, so legit product, of course. It's, it looks like a knickknack. It, yeah, it smells wonderful actually. Mm. Quite sweet. Yeah. Not overly fishy, and no, not at all beefy, despite the uh, rumor. Which, which, which shall we open with? Well, I'm most excited about drinking this just on a personal level. Yeah. So it's spelt saison. Mm -hmm. It's called shambolic. It's dry hopped. I don't know what it's dry hopped in, um, and it's aged in oak as well. I think. Oh, oh, oh! oh it's dry hopped with Nelson Sova. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's, that's we're in, heady. We're in for a treat. Wow. That's really huge, isn't it? Wow, that's insane. That's really farmhousey, bordering on acidity, bordering on sour. Bit brick going on, actually. Yeah. I mean, it feels like my nose is burning almost a little bit. The yeah, acidity. It is bretty. Mm. The match doesn't work, but that beer's beer sensational. Fucking good. You get the acidity from both the barrel and the Nelson Sovan kind of grapiness. Yeah. What a beer! Jesus. That's a whopper. Pop kettle black, let's see if we need to add some roastiness. I think this will balance it better. We've got the sweetness, we've got the soy, we've got the beefiness. Beef and dark beer, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is going to be the winner. Oh, good God. That doesn't work either. No, they're that all, completely they're all, overpowers the crisps. They're all overpowering the, the meek crisps. The, the crisp meek, you say? Meek. Wait, I've just I've just had a genius idea. Hit me. Bready, spicy, oh, hoppy. The troubadour. So we get some of that bready vibes that we Maybe. really hope to get off of that. Maybe. Mm. We could do a bit more spice. You, 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 that's going to bring some spice. I think it's a good enough reason to crack a 9% Belgian IPA. Easy come, easy goes. No. Better. Better. Right. Troubadour Magma. Um, this beer is a Belgian triple. Mm -hmm. Bready, spicy, sweet, bitter, bittersweet. Uh, and then they've hopped it like an IPA. Also. So that's why they call it a triple IPA. It's not a triple IPA as in three times the IPA. Yes. So we're hoping to bring some of that sort of 
spiciness and the, the, the sweetness. The, the, the sweetness and the spice from this beer will hopefully go with that. Complement that. I feel good from the aroma. It is bready, isn't it? That's lovely. Yeah, peach, peach yogurt, <coughs> uh, citrusiness, sweet malt. Oh, it does smell great. It's in the, um, it's exciting my palate mm. a lot more. And it feels like it's like interacting with, with the, the crispy, um, just the mouthfeel of the crunchy crisp. Yep. Kind of coating it with a sweetness, like a sticky sweetness, almost like a, like a barbecue kind of. Barbecue glaze. S glaze, almost mm. like a glaze. I'm not quite yeah. sure how that's happening, but that's the kind of vibe I'm getting off of it. A good match, a good match is two plus two equals five. Exactly. So it creates a barbecue glaze on our eel crisps. And I feel like it's in a bun as well because of that, that bready, bready sweetness. I think you're well. overthinking it, Brad. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but that really works. A crappy label, as always with Belgian beers. But a wonderful combo. And a serious beer. It's a serious beer and it's a beautiful beer. It does everything it says it will do. It's bready, it's spicy, it's apricotty, it's citrusy. Mm. That sweetness goes so well with a slightly sweet crisp. Wonderful. For us, it's a Belgian IPA mm. with an eel crisp, uh, which is Couldn't the get... first time that sentence has ever been said. The most abstract thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> As if the Grand Beer Channel wasn't niche enough, 